Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. I'm back, and we're answering a question from YouTube user Blazer Brass today. That's a great name, my friend. I use that at the range myself. But we're not here to talk about ammo, we're here to talk about wind turbines. Blazer's question was, does the uh, terrain environment affect the output of wind turbines? Uh, this was in response to a video I posted that showed wind turbines and walls being built nearby within a couple foundations will actually block them from working entirely. Um, I will, I will uh, preface this with a caveat that things change quite a bit from one update to the next, uh, and that statement is still true. Walls will still block them. Um, and what I did here is build a little test rig with five wind turbines, um, in each, one in each of the cardinal directions, one in the middle. They're all facing to the north except the south one I have facing south as a control. Um, just to demonstrate that there isn't a significant difference with which direction the turbine is facing. So uh, the old wind turbines a year, year and a half ago, if you were early to electricity, you would have noticed they actually turned into the wind and the wind direction changed. And if there was an object in the direction of the wind, it would block the turbine. That's all gone. Uh, the wind turbines just sit in a fixed position and the wind factor, the velocity does seem to change uh, kind of randomly. Um, I will say there is somewhat of a pattern to it, which I've observed during this test right now. And that is that the wind changes move a, according to a cardinal direction here, not consistently, but what you'll see is like the, the turbine furthest west will start decreasing first and then the ones in the middle and then the one furthest to the east. And then it'll start increasing first and then the middle ones will start increasing or sometimes the other way around. The direction isn't necessarily the same, but the pattern is. So if the one furthest east starts decreasing, then you'll see the middle ones start decreasing within you know, several seconds, 10, 20, 30 seconds later, and then the one to the west, it'll start decreasing and so forth. So there's clearly a movement of velocity change across the map here. Um, I guess a few foundations at a time just kind of migrates from one direction to the other. But there isn't really an implied wind direction necessarily. I will say that the maybe on the answer comes from the fact that the turbine that's closest to the cliff there is the one that likes to cut out the most. A couple of these during my testing have just plain stopped working. They're, they stop outputting power, they stop turning, and their display turns off. Um, it's happened on the one by the cliff the most. Uh, it's happened several times, in fact. Um, only one of the others, the one to the west, turned off once uh, for about 30 seconds also. So to me, that says it's not inherent to the position of the turbine. Being next to the cliff doesn't block the wind per se. It does seem to have some effect though. So to answer your question, Blazer, I would recommend staying away from terrain objects like cliffs. Um, possibly trees or other things may have a similar effect. It's hard to tell right now. Uh, but you're probably better off keeping them away from other solid objects, walls, cliffs, whatever. Um, best thing you can do for everybody's sake, get them up. Get them up in height, in altitude. Um, I try to put them at eight to nine stories tall at least whenever I can. Um, depending on what server you're playing on and what kind of environment you're working with and what kind of weapons people are attacking you with. Um, the integrity of your tower may be more important than the, um, the, the ability or the life of the uh, turbine itself, so getting it higher might be a better thing to do, but hey, if you're like me, you're just going to fly a mini into the damn thing anyway, because it's fun and destructive, and why the hell not? So... Uh, take that for what it is. You can see here that pattern that I spoke of earlier, the one on the east end, the one by the cliff, is the one dropping the most right now. And these ones in the middle are following, and the one out to the west seems to be trailing behind. So at this moment, the wind velocity is decreasing, and it's decreasing from east to west. Um, again, that's not consistent. When this pattern finishes, for all we know, it could go from west to east, increasing, it could increase from east to west. It's not been consistent while I've been testing. So 
Um, and the direction they're facing, south, north, whatever, doesn't seem to matter a whole lot either. So there you go, kind of put them wherever you want. I would stay away from walls and solid objects as much as you can, and of course get them up in elevation as much as possible also. Uh, the other thing I noticed while setting this up, because it's been a few months since I've done a new video and been playing Rust, because uh, I changed jobs, so I'm back, and I got a new hard drive and install, so this video took me about 12 hours to produce, because I had to install a new computer and Rust and video editing and drivers and microphone and all this crap again, So, uh, but we're back at it. And a curious thing I noticed, I'm not sure which wipe it happened on, but watch this. Disconnect the output and the counter only shows one for the input instead of its full input anymore, which means counters are doing something to factor in their load into their calculation. That wasn't true before. So this is the first indication I have that the calculation is being, uh, is factoring the load um, at least since they introduced the battery change with Rustwatt Minutes. So it looks like the whole load thing is starting to catch on on other components here, which is a good sign because there's a lot of quirky bugs with electricity that had to do with the fundamental problem of them just reading input power and not necessarily being aware of their downstream load. So this could be a good sign for other bug fixes that may have actually happened already. So I need to do some more testing or maybe some bug fixes to come in the future. So uh, stay tuned as I get back into it, start playing with some more components here, see what all the, the changes are, and uh, if I can get some more time in the future, I might put a little more into this, uh, maybe with a larger rig over a larger area, and see if I can't figure out what the pattern is here. Uh, if you know what the pattern is, let me know. And uh, buggy, always is. Uh, maybe there's something worthwhile to send over to Dev, but in the meantime, we'll look forward to other environmental changes taking place like rain and probably more refactoring of the wind code and all kinds of other wonderful rust bugs that can keep us on our toes. Until then, my friends, it's good to be back, and good luck, and don't suck.